today I have another unboxing video for you. This week the game I'll be unboxing is Sheriff of Nottingham. I got this game as part of my Secret Santa from Board Game Geek this year and I was super excited to receive it as it's been really high on my list. Sheriff of Nottingham is produced by many companies. My version is by Arcane Wonders and Cool Mini or Not. It's designed by Sergio Halaban and Andre Zatz and it incorporates three to five players age 14 up and plays in around 60 minutes. This game has a lot of different mechanisms to it like card drafting set collection but its main element is bluffing. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up so we can see what's inside. Okay so I've taken the shrink off and now we're going to open it up and see what's inside. So the first thing that we come to in the box is of course the rule book has the same image on the front of the rule book as it does on the front of the box. It seems fairly thick but not as thick as some others I've seen. has lots of pictures, tells you how to play obviously. You go through, tells you all the different phases of the game. Quite in depth which is always good. Tells you how to win. And then tells you about promo cards down here which is always good as I'm a big promo fan. I would have to say that is my only issue with this game is that it has so many promos to it and I like to collect promos. And since I didn't have this game from its very first release, I don't actually have all the promos for it or any promos for this game, in fact. Now on the back, for those who like to count cards, it has all of the card quantities on to help you out, which is very useful. I'll put that to the side and we'll have a look at the punch boards. Each of the punch boards has coins of different denominations on it and a player board. So this is the red player board. These are the gold coins for a value of 50, silver coins for a value of 20. There should be five punch boards, I think. So here's purple player board, five coins, one coins and the 20 coins again. The green board has all of the fives and blue board has twenties, fives and the sheriff. So the sheriff standee is given to the player who is going to currently be the sheriff. And here is the yellow player board with lots and lots of ones and a couple of fives. Now this insert I absolutely love because it's very organised. You can see here it's imprinted on the bottom of the insert is 50s. So you put your 50 coins here, your 20 coins here, 5 coins here and 1 coins here. These are the three sections for your, all your different cards so it should fit sleeved hopefully. And these are all the bags and it come with it for each player. So there's yellows, it's got a little bit of a fold in it there where the button is. There's blue bags. They're fairly well made. I have a popper on them with a logo on each of them. Hopefully they'll fit sleeved cards. And there's the green one, purple, and red. My only thing I would say is they're a little off colour to the colour of the boards, but that's okay. I can always replace these with my own. If I wish, I see the blue is a lot darker than the blue on the player board. Not to worry. Okay, now I'll uh, see how many cards we have, as this game is most it's a card game for the most part. So has lots and lots of cards. Now here's one deck, two decks, three decks, and four decks. So. We'll open these up and we'll see what's inside them. Okay, so here we have this deck has lots and lots of cheese in it and chickens in. The green cards are the legal cards, so these are all the royal goods. And then there's illegal cards, which are the red ones, so I believe pepper's an illegal good that you would try to smuggle through to get points at the end. Place these in here and we can take a look at the next deck. Okay, so following on from the last deck, this one still has more pepper in it, which is illegal. Mead, 
also illegal, I believe. We keep going through. We also have silk and crossbow. There's some others here. Blue cheese, which counts as three cheese. Golden apples counts as three apples. Gouda cheese counts as two cheese. Green apples counts as two apples. Pumpernickel bread counts as three bread. Royal rooster counts as two chickens. And rye bread, which counts as two bread. So with them being red, they are illegal. But it's an easy way to try and get more points towards the end. Place these in here and we'll take check out the next deck. Okay, so in this deck it's all legal items because they're all green. And all we have in here is bread and cheese. So that's all that's in that deck. So I shall put those away and we'll check out the next deck. Okay, so in this deck we have just more legal items. Seeing all the green here. All there is this time is apples and then at the very end there's a couple of bread cards. And here's the back of the cards. It shows the Sheriff of Nottingham logo with the wooden back which is very thematic to the game and then the bag that you would keep your goods in. I'll put those away in there and that is all of the game. It's a really, really simple game. All you have to do is try and smuggle as many goods as you can past the sheriff to earn the most points at the end of the game. So that was Sheriff of Nottingham. So I'll put everything back in the box. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Links to our board game and social media are in the description box below. Please check those out and stay tuned for more unboxing videos and reviews to come. Feel free to comment below any games you'd like to see us unbox or review. We will try and make it happen. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.